Throne and Liberty Korea is ready. The launcher is live, the client is live and you can already pre-download the game, select a server and create a character to reserve your in-game name. One big thing that is immediately noticeable is that there is an option in-game to change language to English. Which means that the game is translated to a certain degree and that NCSoft probably won't be so strict on not allowing non-Korean players to play the game. These are good signs for the western version as it might not be that far off. There is a way though where non-Korean players can play Throne and Liberty and that is what I'm going to show you in this video. Creating an account for a Korean game isn't as straightforward as just registering and downloading. As with any Korean game, one important thing you will need is a valid Korean phone number as there is a phone verification which you won't be able to pass without the phone number. There are numerous ways how someone could obtain that, like straight up buying it online. I'm not going to show you how and where, but use Google for that. Another way of creating an account is if you pay a Korean person to create an account for you. Not as easy as it sounds, but there are certain places on the internet where Korean people offer these types of services. Again, use Google for that. Keep in mind that one phone number can create 10 different accounts with 10 different emails. Next thing you will need is a VPN. Normally Korean developers can detect and ban non-Korean IP addresses, so it is important that you are connected to a VPN when registering, logging in and playing. Although I have managed to register, log in and enter the game without a VPN and without any problems. So NCSoft might not be so strict about it since the game already has an English language setting. Any VPN that has a full VPN option and supports Throne Liberty Korean client will work. I recommend using ExitLang for ease of use or Mudfish as it is the cheapest. If you are connected to the VPN, you have Korean phone number ready or you already have an account created, you will want to either register or log in by clicking on this link. It is going to be in the description. Clicking on this purple button will open a new page where you will right click into empty space and click translate into English. There, if you are registering, check all of these and enter the phone number. Verify it and it will ask you to input email and password. After that, log in by clicking on the top right button. Select Korea Republic from the drop down menu. Enter your email and password and log in. Now you will be able to download the NCSoft launcher called Purple by clicking on this at the top. From the launcher you will be able to download the game. The current version requires 60GB of free space, but when the game fully launches there might be over 200GB of space required. While in launcher you will have to log in again with the same process. Scroll down until you find Throne and Liberty and click install. After the game has finished downloading, run it and you will be immediately greeted with an English translation. You can only pre-create one character, so take your time, enjoy the detailed character creation and create something perfect for yourself. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments. Consider subscribing to stay up to date with future Throne and Liberty videos and watch some of my other content appearing on your screen.